Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. A thousand times yes. The man and has his arrived. Partner, from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. Well, there was so much hype, so much expectation when it was first announced that Ricochet would be joining the roster of NXT. And you talk about a superstar who has more than exceeded expectations. I hate agreeing with you, Saxton, but you're speaking the truth. This dude is the real deal. Somebody hand me the tissues. Somebody get me a barf bag. And their opponents. First, accompanied by Maria Canellis from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 205 pounds, Mike Canellis. Corey, you know, this couple, uh, it rivals some of the great couples in the world. Michael Cole, you hit the nail right on the head. We're talking Romeo and Juliet, Zach and Kelly. Not quite Triple H and Stephanie, but one of the greatest love stories have, that's ever been told. Have you completely lost your mind? I'm so sick of all this love nonsense, shoving it down our throats. Why, are you jealous? It's a beautiful story, Byron. They're happy. They <laughs> love each other. They're super successful. They just had a child. Everything is wonderful. I'm thinking about changing my last name to Canellis. Don't buy into this insanity. It's real talk, Byron. Wait, this is my favorite part. Here it comes! Oh my god, look at that stare! You can't recreate that! It's that just, is real it's, love! It's like a dime store romance novel. You both need help. It's like a Shakespearean novel, Cole. Saxton, it's okay, you can admit it. You're like a 47-year-old piece of hematite. This is the 24-year-old piece of gold, Leo Rush, the real deal, the man of the hour. Look, I'll give Leo Rush his credit. Very talented competitor, but uh, he's got some very uh, boisterous tendencies when he's 
at ringside serving in his managerial role. Well, the good news is you can't even get words out of your mouth when Leo rushes around, but the fact of the matter is, you can't even be the man of the minute, let alone the man of the hour. Leo Rush is one of the most incredible athletes on the entire WWE roster. Big time tag team match underway here. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without oh. you two bozos interrupting me. <laughs> he might have it. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oh, nasty impact. Leo Rush is still a rookie here in WWE, but he's already made a name for himself. Actually, he's made several. <laughs> he's the 24-year-old piece of gold, the manager of the hour, Mr. Leo Five Live, the man behind my man. A lot of titles, sure, but he's earned each and every one of them. more about Leo Rush's nicknames. I'll be the first to admit he's exciting to watch, but he's very cocky for a guy with such limited experience. Well, Byron, when you're naturally gifted like Leo Rush or the great Corey Graves, you've got carte blanche to use any nickname you want. That's another jewel of wisdom, courtesy of the savior of misbehavior. That'll mess up the back of your neck. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. In May of 2017, SmackDown Lives, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Ooh, what impact. Oh, he turns it around. Not so fast. Oh, Rush just barely got out of the way. He's on his heels. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish born superstar. Naomi did it. Again, that's two, and perhaps a trifecta. The three amigos. This one's over, guys. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team over time. The end may be near. Oh, Rush just barely got out of the way. Away. 
Oh boy, he is rolling. That's two! And perhaps a trifecta the three amigos! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Drop kick! Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Beautiful technique. Uh-oh. Poised and ready. Set up. Running in Zaguri. Here's his moment, Michael. Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. Into the quick cover. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Too quick for him there. He goes for the cover. No kicks out in time. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson. Stevens and Bockwinkle. The Texas counter here. Nobody Jeez. controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Tagged. And now one more time. Oh, damage to the body. His shoulders are down. And he breaks the pin. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. The man of the hour has arrived at just 24 years old. The piece of gold known as Leo Rush quickly ascended through the Indies and is now is making waves in WWE. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Michael, you mentioned Leo Rush's quick arrival here in WWE. Well, just as quickly as he hit the main roster, he's been providing highlight reel moments with his innovative evasion techniques. Oh, not only that, he's proved to be a great mouthpiece for his man, Bobby Lashley. Rush definitely has the gift of gab, even if he's got the voice of a... Face Buster! Game, set, match, this one is over. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Whoa! Oh, from behind. He's so close to me. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and... Look at this. This could be the turning point. In off the tag. 
Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their part. And he got a near fall out of it. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, boy, he is rolling. you got to believe this one's over. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. One of the greatest strikers in the game right now. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Hooked up and backdrop suplex. Uh-oh. Poised and ready. Gonna be woozy after that impact. That has got to be. This could do it. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, breakneck speed, what a hurricane. When this guy's on, look out. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Incoming. Showing off some of his speed there. Perhaps a trifecta for three amigos! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Running in Zaguri! Just when you thought he had nothing left. Again? Really? Come on. Come up with something new already. He's going for it all. Now he's working that exploit. Wow. What a splash. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Oh, watch out. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. That's too early for that. Ring rattling. Ooh, right to the face. He is getting absolutely manhandled here. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. Big slam. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Nasty kick to the face. Oh. Big time takedown right there. This much the shoulders are down. Two! And he breaks up the count. He's got him covered. Two! Three! They win like that. Says a lot about a duo. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history.
I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here are your winners, Brandon the Eliminator and Ricochet. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. No wonder these guys won. They worked together like they've been teaming up since birth. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was.